So to get started, you want to find the two ends of your cords, measure them from the bottom of your board to the top, and then tie a little knot there, leaving a little loop. And this is what you're going to use to tie on your bracelet at the end. So you'll end up with something that looks like this. And now you can attach this to the top of your board with one of your clips. And then you want to just neaten up your cords, find the shortest ones and the longest ones, and then put them in the right place for knotting over. And then you can take the shortest cords and clip them to the other end of your board. And then you want to do your first set of knots. So take one cord to either side, and then you're going to work one cord over one of the holding cords. And you want to do hitch knots here and leave one cord free. So going over and through the first half of your knot, and then under and through the other half. And you can do as many or as few as you want for yours, but I'm doing five hitch knots here. And once you've done the first side, you want to do the same thing at the second side. So you're going over and through, and then under and through. And you want to do the same amount of knots as you did at the first side, so it stays symmetrical. Once you've done that, you'll end up with something that looks like this. So now I'm going to do half a square knot. I'm going to go over, over, and through. And normally here, I would do another knot by going under, under, and through. But because I want to swap the colours over here, I don't want to do that. So now I've done half the knot. I'm just going to repeat what I did the first time, but with colours on the opposite side. So you just want to complete your hitch knots and do the same amount as you did the first time. And once you've done that on both sides, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. So you can see the colours have swapped over. And now you want to do another half square knot to swap your colours back to the original position. You can see how they're going down and crossing over each time. So now you just want to repeat what you did the first time around and just do hitch knots until you get as long as you want it. So basically just doing the same amount of hitch knots you did the first two times. And once you've got the bracelet as long as you want it, it should end up looking something like this. So I'm going to put a couple of square knots at the end just to hold everything in place. With that done, you can remove it from the board. And I'm tying a knot here at the end as well. And to finish off, I'm going to take one of each colour of the tail ends and then tie a knot at a suitable length for to use to tie on the bracelet. I'm going to repeat this at the other side and try and match them up and make them the same length here. Once they're nice and secure, you can trim the ends, and if you want to seal them, you can use a lighter or glue here.
And once you've finished, you should end up with something that looks like this. So now you can just try your bracelet on. And that is your completed two-tone swap over bracelet.